I think as this field grows, I think one really important thing to consider is because it's, it's so new, a lot of patients actually just don't know that this is available. Um, and so a lot of very, very savvy uh, patients who have physicians in the family or are potentially researchers may know about this technology or they live near major, major hospitals. Uh, but I think one of the biggest challenges for a lot of our patients is actually to get the word out and just get the word out to the community or maybe more rural areas, um, patients who may not know about this technology who are certainly uh, eligible. And so I think that's one of the biggest challenges for us right now uh, is just making sure that they know about us. So I, I, I actually, in, this, in the same vein as, uh, um, uh, as with the patients, I think it's really important to get the word out to other clinicians. And so I think these types of events are, are really helpful and really important to get the word out to the community. Um, and in, in thinking about what the clinicians may need to know more than the patients is um, the precise types of patients that they can refer to us, uh, patients who are relapsed, refractory, or what type of, types of diseases. Um, and then eventually, um, hopefully we'll treat their patients and they'll go back to these clinicians. And so working on that interplay between those, uh, that type of collaboration. Uh, I think the culture at Mass General is wonderful, and so on a daily basis, I get to go to the clinic, I see CAR T-cell patients, and then I get to go to the lab. I work with a number of collaborators at Mass General, um, at other institutions, and we're all trying to work on the same thing, and it's been absolutely amazing, and so I'm really excited to be here.